morning. <laughs> We're in Jerome, a little mining town up on top of the hill. Oh, about 30 miles uh, west of Sedona. And I mean, we have, uh, we have ourselves in a little art town, real artsy craftsy town. It used to be a town of about 15,000 people at the turn of the century. It's a copper mining town. And when the copper went out, so did the people. Went down about 500 people. But since then, artists and craftsmen have made their home in Jerome. And it's become quite a tourist town. A town full of galleries and full of strange things. <laughs> Of course, the whole town is built on a hillside. There's no north, south, east, west streets in here. Everything's built on the side of a hill. All reminiscent of Butte. Built on the side of a hill, copper mining town. And this is what's left over. Yeah, rough and tough times for some of these buildings. A lot of art galleries. This is the cream of the crop. Cream of the crop, he says. This is the cream of the crop. <laughs> yep, we need to go into the Liberty Theater and Gifts. It's like that's my kind of store. Old projector sitting outside. Bustling community, mining town, shops and stores galore. Came across this burned out store. <laughs> yeah, it's all fenced off. Take a look down here. People have been throwing money trying to hit the old stool, trying to hit the buckets, wheelbarrow, and the expert shot is right down here if you happen to get a hole in one. Okay, start counting the money. <laughs> How much change do you see? Walking down Main Street. Now streets are just kind of haphazard, up and down. Old buildings, shops and some other old buildings. Of course, trees growing in the old foundations inside some of these old buildings. Like I said, 
city that some of these shops are very strange. Cutting down the hide you see in front of me into strips. Mm -hmm. And then I'm beveling the edges. And the next step after this will be to cut the ends and pre punch the holes, and then I can start to uh, tool. You make all the belts in? I do. I'm a master leather craftsman by trade. Oh, okay, great. Not many of us left, but. At least on a professional basis, there's mm -hmm. a lot of hobbyists. But I've been doing this for a living for 15 years. Wow. Actually, on my wrist is a piece of the finished work. Oh, okay. Craftsman at work. Great. And your name? My name's Don Smith. Don, pleased to meet you. Good to meet you too. And within our shop and within our business, we employ several different leather workers. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, they're, they're all uh, masters at their work. We have master belt makers, master wow. uh, bag makers. Okay, okay. And even our owner is a master leather worker himself. Oh, okay, great. So from top to bottom, we have master craftsmen at work. One of the few businesses that does. Okay, okay. Yeah. Especially in leather work, it's not a, mm -hmm. it's not something you go to school for. No, yeah, school, right. no yeah. trade schools exist for this anymore. <laughs> you have to either learn on your own or be apprenticed. Yeah.